Hello. Afternoon. I'm Maya. This I'm is Chelsea. Chelsea. Welcome. So this is a new thing I'm going to start trying to do. Uh, I have a clothing brand called Batik Boutique. And my consultant actually had suggested I try uh, showing a little bit of my life, uh, what I do. So at the moment, we're currently on the road waiting for a chacha. A chacha is this like minivan that takes you pretty much anywhere around Ghana. They're the most affordable option. Uh, we tend to take the most places when we can. And we're going to the beach. wasn't a lot. What do you think? Do you think 100 CDs is a lot? It can go a long way. It can. Here can go a long way. And it's, that's about $10. Yeah. Okay. So the mission for today is I am going to be releasing a textile waste collection very soon. A lot of upcycling. And uh, we'll talk about it later, but there's a big secondhand clothing crisis that happens here in Ghana. Um, a lot of waste that has really uh, polluted the waterways. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I'm trying to find ways to just like do my part, kind of have an environmentally more sustainable collection. Uh, so today in Akola, we're going to the secondhand clothing stalls to find some um, clothes that have been um, discarded mainly because they're actually not in a condition to even sell them and then I want to make some cool things with it. So we're supposed to meet a gentleman right now here in this parking lot in Nakula um, and he's going to show us where to go. to visit the OR Foundation. They are a lovely organization based here in Accra that highlights the issue with secondhand textile waste uh, dumping here in Ghana. So I got to take a look at some of the projects that they've worked on, uh, different designs using these textile waste and um, some other community initiatives that they are currently engaged in. So today is another day. On my way to Kaneshi. We're going to um, the production facility where I've been making most of my designs for the last few years now. Uh, and I'm actually going just to count some fabric uh, because I will be releasing a new homewares line soon. So, yeah, tablecloths, uh, napkins, placemats, table runners. Uh, some tapestries as well, tapestries as well. So um, I'm gonna use most of the fabric I already have, meaning that I just have to go to the factory today to go count some things, choose what I want, and then bring it to another production facility to um, to sew those up. Here. 
of the patterns I rolled up so I'm going to be taking a few of them uh, and a couple sizes to bring to Melissa my pattern maker so that she can rectify some designs just um, adjust some things make it fit a little bit better after some feedback I've gotten from customers <laughs> did a bunch of things that I didn't film. I'm still getting used to this. Like, I feel like everyone's watching, but maybe no one's watching. Um, I'm currently in Newtown. I had to quickly stop at um, this other production facility because I'm working on some other designs there. Um, some new patterns for the turtlenecks. I may have mentioned it already. But um, I'm now gonna just make a quick stop in Nima. So that's another part of town. Uh, there's this famous Nima market. I was told to go there because I'm in search of Krobo beads. And Krobo beads are these uh, really beautiful glass, recycled glass beads um, that have been typically used uh, by crushing um, glass bottles. And they produce these really beautiful, colorful uh, beads. So I'm gonna show you what they look like once I get there. Um, I'm still in Newtown right now, but I'm about to take a car to Lima, I just have to find it. They told me Access Bank and ask around for a car to Lima, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm in a car to Lima right now. It's gonna take off soon. I'm just waiting for it to fill up. Um, good afternoon. I'm eating my yam chips with pepper sauce. So I'm in Lima Market. It's my first time here. Um, I can already tell the demographic is different. It looks very Muslim. Uh, there is a mosque. Yeah, you can see it right there. It kind of feels rare sometimes to see in Ghana, but I mean I know there's a lot of Muslims here too. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. I've heard there's a lot here. I don't want to spend too much time. I've got too much to do and it's a hot day. So, Krobo beads and brass. That's what I was looking for. countries that use lots of spices but it's really reminding me of the markets in Morocco right now because I don't feel like typically a lot of Ghana cuisine uses like lots of spices but I'm now really curious to know more about the demographic of people here and how they use the spices I, I don't know if it's mostly Hausa so I'm here with a very kind gentleman what's your name please? my name is yes, Mohamed Shania Mohamed Shania okay right. From and Senegal. From Senegal? Oh, yeah. 
Okay, mais c'est plus, um, plus non, mais uh, Hauser. Je suis Hauser. Ouais, je ne comprends pas. Ah, uh, tu ne comprends pas, ok. So, you're more English. So, yeah, English. Mohammed. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, we're in his shop. It's this beautiful bead shop. Uh, Krobo beads. Yeah. Italian beads. Okay, milk yeah. glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought I saw some of that too. Yeah. Let me, I'm gonna show you around. Yeah. This is milk glory. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So is it also with recycled glass beads? Yeah, this is recycled yeah. glass beads. It's all recycled. These ones? Yeah. So stunning. So some are made in Ghana. Yeah, some are outside country. Okay. Yeah, I love... These are some of the classic ones you see in Ghana. Right? And then, all made of glass. <laughs> all made of glass. Yeah. 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 The most stunning of them all is this one. Look how beautiful this is. One necklace is 10,000 Ghana CD. 10,000 Ghana CD. So one of them is 500 CD. Miss Bella. Look how stunning they are. With all the in Ghana, you see how they try? They do a lot. Yeah. Yeah, the Ghanaian, they are doing a, a lot, lot of beads. In Krobo? Is yeah, this in the Krobo people. The Krobo people, okay. Yeah, so, so you go people. there? Yeah. Okay. I go to TK. Eastern region? Yeah. 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 TK no far from here. It's in the border. Eh. Hey. Uh, uh, Medina. Ah, oh, okay. Medina. Medina. accomplished the beads got what I needed they're so beautiful and can you imagine someone just these two men uh, just like helped me find a spot like they just spent the last half an hour 45 minutes helping me find exactly what I needed um, didn't want anything in return like that's just Ghana for you just like really kind people all the time <laughs> it's actually unheard of sometimes back home to have that and uh, yeah, I was just in the middle of like filming some um, grounded spices, spices being ground. And then the guy was like, oh, oh, if you want to take photo, if you want to take video, like let me show you where you can go. And he just like brought me to this spot, he introduced me to this chief, the chief of Nima, I guess. I don't know. And then he said like, uh, oh, and I told him I'm looking for Krobo beads. They're the ones that brought me to the spot. And like, that's what's gone up for you. Really, really kind people, very friendly, very open. Um, they're just willing to help, honestly. So I got what I needed.